In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. O God, who made the abbot, St. Bernard, a man consumed with zeal for your house, and a light shining and burning in your church, grant through his intercession that we may be on fire with the same spirit and walk always as children of light. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The angel took me to the gate, the one facing east. I saw the glory of the God of Israel approaching from the east. A sound came with it, like the sound of the ocean, and the earth shone with his glory. This vision was like the one I had seen when I had come for the destruction of the city, and like the one I had seen on the bank of the river Kiba. Then I prostrated myself. The glory of the Lord arrived at the temple by the east gate. The Spirit lifted me up and brought me into the inner court. I saw the glory of the Lord fill the temple, and I heard someone speaking to me from the temple while the man stood beside me. The voice said, Son of man, this is the dais of my throne, the step on which I rest my feet. I shall live here among the sons of Israel forever. The Word of the Lord The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. I will hear what the Lord God has to say, a voice that speaks of peace, peace for his people and his friends. His help is near for those who fear him, and his glory will dwell in our land. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. Mercy and faithfulness have met, justice and peace have embraced. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. The Lord will make us prosper, and our earth shall yield its fruit. Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow his steps. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. Alleluia! Alleluia! Bend my heart to your will, O Lord, and teach me your law. Alleluia! The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Addressing the people and his disciples, Jesus said, The scribes and the Pharisees occupy the chair of Moses. You must therefore do what they tell you and listen to what they say, but do not be guided by what they do, since they do not practice what they preach. They tie up heavy burdens and lay them on men's shoulders, but will they lift a finger to move them? Not they. Everything they do is done to attract attention, like wearing broader phylacteries and longer tassels, like wanting to take the place of honour at banquets and the front seats in the synagogues, being greeted obsequiously in the market squares and having people call them rabbi. You, however, must not allow yourselves to be called rabbi, since you have only one master, and you are all brothers. 
You must call no one on earth your father, since you have only one father, and he is in heaven. Nor must you allow yourselves to be called teachers, for you have only one teacher, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Anyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and anyone who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. One of the common arguments regarding this gospel text is this command of Jesus to call no one on earth your father, since you have only one father in heaven. Did Jesus really mean that we cannot call anyone father? If so, then why in John chapter 8, verse 44, while addressing his adversaries, he says, you are from your father, the devil. Did Jesus contradict what he said? Furthermore, St. Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 15 says, You have no more than one father, and it was I who fathered you in Christ Jesus by the gospel. So does this mean that St. Paul disobeyed Jesus' command to call no one father by declaring himself a father? Hence, the bottom line is, to understand what Jesus really meant, we should consider the full context of this gospel passage. When Jesus said, call no one on earth your father, he was referring this to the scribes and Pharisees who set themselves up as authority instead of looking to God as the source of their authority and truth. Jesus was not forbidding anyone to call any men who are literal or spiritual fathers. He was warning against anyone trying to make titles for themselves while the notion of service to the community is being neglected. St. Bernard of Clairvaux, whom the church celebrates his memorial today, once said, There are those who seek knowledge to be known by others. Hence, there are people who like to attain positions of importance to seek attention and make their presence felt only for their own benefit. Therefore, sisters and brothers, the flaunting of titles and the search for position and prestige run counter to Jesus' way of life. Because with these elements of pride, we are tempted to put ourselves first above others. If we desire to attain greatness, at the end of the Gospel today, Jesus reminds us that the greatest in the community are really the ones who serve and make sacrifices for the good of the community. Because for Jesus, the idea of greatness is one of humility and service. St. Bernard also said, there are those who seek knowledge to serve. That is love. Hence, as our love of God is inseparable with our love of neighbour, to serve others and not oneself is to be last, so that those who are less privileged may also benefit. In this way, we can be exalted with greatness in God's eyes. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. May the food we have received, O Lord, as we honour St. Bernard, work its effect in us, so that strengthened by his example and instructed by his teaching, we may be caught up in love of your incarnate Word, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace.